By the way, this lymphosizer, I did get this from someone that returned it because they wanted the seller sizer because they didn't want a rebounder just for the health bounce. If you do anything other than the health bounce on the lymphosizer, I'm going to show you what happens. This is the actual feet. See right there? I mean, those are fine. But this one right here, it ate through the rubber. So, it's like I said, if you're trying to do anything else, and also when you're on this rebounder, like I said, it it you have to it, it starts wobbling if one of the feet are off. Like if that rubber makes it just a little bit like higher, and that one just a little lower because it doesn't have the rubber tip, it'll it'll be off balance, and that's another problem. On a lot of these rebounders, you always have to keep replacing feet. You know, a lot of especially heavier people. You know, they wear through these feet. You, well, feet are cheap. They're like they're not that much. They don't cost that much, and you know they'll last you know a while. But I'm saying if you're going to be if you're heavier and you're doing the health balance on it. I mean, if you're doing like cardio or heavy high jumping, anything besides jumping barely out of the mat, which is the health bounce. Like I mean. The seller, the seller sizer that has polymer feet and like that, I've never had to change a foot on a seller sizer. This went all the time, all the time. And on the Bellicon, I never have anyone change feet because, like I said, the the cords, all, almost all the ballistic impact are you know come out of the cords. So by the time you know you if they on the bottom, you don't. It, I'm gonna show you. I'll show you an example. This is. Look at the feet on the, the Bellicon. It looks brand new, literally. It still has a little ring, like the rings around it, like a tree. So, I just want to let you know, on the Bellicons, you never have, like, I want to say never, but I've never had anyone call me and say, oh, do you sell feet? We have a Bellicon, you know, no, never. On the Lymphasizer, like, I mean, sooner or later, like if I saw if I saw one of these like a year and a half or two years, they always call. Me. I always know when someone says, "Yes, I bought a lymphosizer." I'm like, "Oh, do you need feet or do you need springs?" I'm like, "Well, actually, um, they don't even realize that they don't because a lot of people put them on their carpet, but like I said, the people that put them on hardwood floors, like you definitely like don't want to do anything else besides the hell bounce." All right, so yeah, basically, that's all I want to say.